on the icon for subdomain and you create your subdomain. Now if I wanted to add a subdomain here for the site that I've in just installed I could for example put blog and that would be blog.nichesmonthly.com and that's how people would access that site and they just click add in order to create the subdomain. I'm not going to install a subdomain, I'm just going to show you how to do it. So if I was going to install one, I'd just write in blog or forum or whatever you fancy. You can even install just a, another pure website there if you don't have a lot of money to spare and you want to set up all your sites on subdomains, you can do that as well. And you just type in the name of the subdomain and it'll be accessed by going to http uh, colon stroke stroke blog dot niches monthly dot com and you would just click add and that subdomain would be created. Once you have created your subdomain we go back to our trusty Fantastico and click on the icon. And just as we've done previously we just click on the link to WordPress. And just like previously we'll click on the link for new installation. And just like previously, you choose the subdomain that you've just created from the drop down menu here. And go through the same steps of putting in your admin name, your password, your email, username, and the site name, etc. And go, just go through the steps of installing WordPress. Now,